competition. The next race of the night, it's a straight final, the women's points race. This is a straight fight for the rainbow jersey. And here's the start list of the riders. Uh, Stephanie Pohl, the defending champion and silver medalist in 2014. Picking out some of the other riders in here. Machakova of the Czech Republic, very strong. Caroline Ryan of Ireland has also scored a medal in these uh, championships previously. Georgia Baker of Australia, Jasmine Glazer of Canada, Pavlowska is a very good scratch race rider and very, very good on the road as well. The teammate of Lizzie Armistead in the Bowles Dolmans team. And Elena Cicchini could be an outsider here, wearing uh, the colours of Italy. Osrin Trabaita wearing number 20 for Lithuania. There is the British rider, Emily Nelson. There's Georgia Baker of the Australian team, rides for the High Five Dream Team, comes from Launceston. And there is the defending champion, all smiles from uh, Stephanie Pohl. It was a thrilling race when she won this last year. But just to run through with you then the uh, rules of the points race, uh, we have 25 kilometers, 100 laps uh, of the track. And there's the Belarusian as we work our way down the uh, list, the Savenka, Machakova, Kopecky, Nelson, getting her last bit of instruction. From Paul Manning, Caroline Ryan. Behind Caroline Ryan is the Russian Badyakova, Georgia Baker, uh, Jasmine Glazer right at the back of this group of riders. Then we have Osuin Trabaita, Musabiaga of Spain in front of her, Pang of Hong Kong, China, Elena Cicchini of Italy, uh, the Cuban rider Sierra in front of Sierra's the Slovakian, that's Pavlin Dover, Elise Delzen. The Ukrainian rider Solovey and Pavlowska and Uwano of Japan as we get this race underway. So they're going to roll off the rules of racing. We have 100 laps of the track. Uh, we have sprints every 10 laps. The points are 5, 3, 2 and 1. The rider who accumulates the most points at the end of the 100 laps is the world champion. And of course, there is an added little bit of spice, and that is if you lap the field, you take another 20 points on the rest of the riders. So you'll see some attacks, you'll see riders try to go for laps to try and uh, get themselves away from the rest of the opposition. So it's a little bit tactical, a little bit cagey, and we have 100 laps of racing to go. Mashakova immediately goes to the front, uh, followed by the Spaniard, and the Spanish rider goes immediately with her, Usabayaga. This little duo just combining at the front. Uh, always worth trying to go out early and see if you can get away from the rest of the opposition. Behind them uh, is Pavlowska. You can tell her in the red and white colours of Poland. She wears a multicoloured helmet, which is the colours of the Bowles Dolmans team. A very strong road squad. Lizzie Armistead won the Strada Bianca today, and her teammate Megan Garnier was the winner last year. On board then with uh, Lotta Kopecky, that's the side that she can see. Looking back at the Cuban rider. Can see just how close all these riders race as we get ourselves towards the first sprint of the night. Caroline Ryan up towards the front, so is the Australian Georgia Baker, and it's probably a good moment for us to introduce a guest for uh, a little bit of this uh, points race. So a very warm welcome to the points race world champion previously from Australia. Amy Cure is with us. Amy, good evening. Very warm welcome. Thank you. 
That'll tell us then, we're very early on in the race, 95 laps to go, we're coming up to the first sprint. At the start of a race, the riders have their own game plan, their own tactics that they've already got in their mind that they're going to run to, or do they just wait and see how the race unfolds? I think you've got different riders that like to do different things, but I think uh, it's important to always, you know, get up on there. Those first first few sprints are important to try and, you know, take them out or uh, get points where you can. It's always going to help towards the end of the race when your legs are starting to feel a bit more fatigued. <laughs> and in terms of the sprints, um, we know that every 10 laps we have got the sprints. How much when you're riding in this peloton do you keep an eye on the scoreboards that are around the arena or do you concentrate on your coach? How do you keep track of exactly what's going on because mathematically it must be quite difficult to keep track in your head yeah with a with a lap with a race that's so many laps you know it does get difficult you always got to keep a keep an eye on the scoreboard to how many laps to go and you do use the board to see you know how many points you're sitting on and how many points there is uh, between your competitors but i think um yeah it's important to get those easy points where you can and you know not not go 100 percent in a sprint if you know you're going to get it easy or if you know you're going to get second place, yeah, just do as much as you can to keep that second place because the energy that you save uh, at the front of the race is going to be the energy gain at the end. One lap to go then to the first at sprint of this points race. And on the front it is the American rider leading, but Pavlowska's making a move around the top to try and take the points. It's Sierra of Cuba who is going to lead uh, through. Uh, so Sierra followed by Pavlowska. Yasmin Glazer was also up uh, towards the front, taking those first set of uh, points. So as Amy said, very important to get up there on the leaderboard. Uh, 90 laps of racing to go. We'll get confirmation on the screen in just a moment of that first sprint of the night. First sprint then, sprint number one. Sierra takes the five points, Pavlowska takes three, Jasmine Glazer takes two, and Kimberly Geist takes one point for the United States of America. So Sierra is the leader of this points race. Five points on the board, 20 laps is the points tally if you take a lap on the rest of the field. Looking through the field that we've got here, there's some fantastic riders in this uh, group so far. Is there anyone you would identify as uh, who you've seen who's on, been on good form or you think might be the, the possible podium finisher tonight? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I've obviously got Paul from Germany. She's uh, always, you know, in, the, in those top few competitors uh, each year in the points race. So she's always one to look out in and you've got Jasmine Glazer from Canada and also Pulowska who will be, um, yeah, not going down without a fight. And um, of course, I think Georgia Baker will be out here tonight and uh, to stamp her grounds and do a good race. And uh, she's been in great form there. So I think I, I'm sure she's uh, capable of, of getting top position here. Trabita is making a little bit of a move with 85 laps of racing to go. Osrin Trabita, the 27-year-old Lithuanian rider, has been a silver medalist in the team pursuit in the European Championship. She's a rider who attacks uh, like this and generally uh, stirs the race up quite early. Amy, we've seen Osrin Trabita do this before. She is a rider who generally, in most points races, attacks like this and quite often does take laps quite early. Yeah, you see this a lot in uh, points races with a few girls like these who people, I guess, see not so much as a threat, but they go out and they can take an easy lap. And, um, you know, if someone takes an easy lap at the, at the start of the race, then that's also 20 points up and it makes it harder for others to bring that back at the end. A move here then by Masha Kova in the blue of the Czech Republic and Osrin Trabita in the yellow of Lithuania. Cicchini is making a move across as well. Uh, she's the Italian rider and uh, Sierra the Cuban is also in the mix uh, behind her but they've just been caught. We come up to the next sprint of the night remembering that Sierra of Cuba took five, Pavlowska took three, Glazer took two, Kimberly Geist took one. This isn't going to help this breakaway. 
uh, because Osrin Trebita and Machikova are going for the points. Georgia Baker of Australia is now looking to try and score some points. Emily Nelson of Great Britain on her wheel, so they will mop up uh, the separate points. Two and one going to the Australian and the British rider, respectively. And it looks like this little duo may well be caught just by the acceleration of the peloton. Confirmation of sprint number two, Mashakova takes five, Trebita takes three, Georgia Baker of Australia takes two, and Emily Nelson of Great Britain takes one. Little attack at the front from the Russian rider. This is Badiakova trying to go clear. The standings after sprint number two, Mashakova leads with Sierra equal on points. Pavlowska and Trebita have three points each. Amy, we quite often see after a, a sprint happens that there's a little bit of a lull and then there's an acceleration. I guess that's your body, in terms of pulse rate and feeling, has had to accelerate hard and you want to just calm it down. Is that, is that right? And then some riders who are feeling good will take the, take the attack? That's true. You see, uh, as soon as this, people have done a hard sprint, you know, the first thing is, OK, sit up and recover and, and uh, get back in for the next sprint. But you can see that's where some of the smarter riders can sit back towards the end of a race and think, well, when this sprint goes and everyone sits up, I can attack, and uh, that's a perfect move to uh, gain, gain big momentum on the peloton and to ch chase down a lap. And I think um, it was a very smart move by Georgia Baker after the sprint. She brought it down and continued the pace with a high speed, and then uh, you, you saw her out there brought the back, uh, the breakaway back very quickly. So it's an attack here by uh, Badiakova of Russia. The peloton pace is not very, very high right now. Do you just ride a race like this on feel? Are you, do you know how your body is reacting without any pulse monitors or anything like that, purely through the training that you do? Yeah, for sure. You know, the training you do, and you can feel your legs out there, whether your legs are screaming or whether you, where you've done a few sprints and you think, gee, I'm, I'm feeling all right here. And, I think that's something, you know, you can only tell when you're out in the race, but you definitely have a feeling of, of where you are at, at that point of the race. And I think it's also just listening to your legs and making the right decisions on how you're feeling. With us then is Amy Cure, the points race world champion. She comes from Tasmania and she's here giving us her insight as to what this points race is like. Badia Kova still on the attack, a little bit of a, an acceleration as we head towards the next sprint of the night and Badiakova looking to try and mop up these points. Uh, Mashakova and Sierra are the leaders. Pavlowska looks to be involved in the action at the front of the peloton. A big acceleration by the Polish rider, who's a former world scratch race champion. I think Badiakova is going to just hold on. Behind her is going to be Pavlowska and also involved in the mix, I think, was Stephanie Pohl, the first time we've seen her, the defending champion. On the screen, then, Badiakova's now been caught by the peloton, and the acceleration now at the front. Confirmation of sprint number three, Gulnas Badiakova is the winner of that sprint. Five points, Pavlowska three, Savenka two, and the defending champion with one point. Peloton calms right down now. There is Pavlowska. I think after that sprint, she will be the leader of this uh, points race. And here's confirmation that Pavlowska has six, Mashakova has five, Badiakova five, and Sierra has five points so far. Peloton at the moment, Amy, do you get a sense it's a little bit cagey in there at the moment? Everyone's kind of looking at each other. No one really has managed to take a big advantage and get, get a lap yet. Yeah, you see that a lot, you know, when there's quite a few uh, really good girls in the field. They Quite often they look at each other as to see who makes the first move and who's going to chase it down. And I think, you know, that's where you see a lot of, lot of attacks uh, from some of the smaller countries there. Caroline Ryan of Ireland makes a move now. She was a bronze medalist in 2012. Sierra immediately counters that move and Ryan goes to the uh, top of the track. 
one rider in here uh, that we should mention is a teammate, a former teammate of yours, Elena Cicchini of Italy. Yes, I think she's going to be very strong. Um, she's got a very good sprint on her, and uh, she, does, she doesn't always ride the track, but I think she's in uh, great form and will be giving it, a, giving it a crack out there, and I think, yeah, she could do great things. Walterink Trabaita makes a move again off the front with 65 laps to go. She's trying again to break the will of the rest of this uh, peloton. Going clear now. The hair flowing down her back and a little bit of a gap to uh, Jasmine Glazer right now. When you won your world title, did you just have one of those days where you were feeling absolutely supreme all day or did the plan just all come together? Um, I think, uh, yeah, you got obviously going to every race with a plan, but uh, it doesn't often uh, work that it, it, it work out to how you have a plan in your head. But um, for me, it, it was, I guess, it was my last race and I was more relaxed. But to be honest, I um, had a bit of a misunderstanding with the time of the race and I actually only arrived 20 minutes before, so <laughs> I couldn't go in too much with... with uh, with a big plan, you know, I had, had to obviously take it slowly into that and, and try not to let others know. So I think uh, I, I just laid it earlier, a bit quieter earlier on in the race, tried to get a few few points where I could and uh, then tried to make my move it towards the end. Walter in Trabita going for the next sprint of the night. There's a big move going on behind Georgia Baker. He's going to take second. Uh, the Belgian rider Lotta Kopecki is up there in third as we see Osrin Trebrita gulping for air, going all the way back through the peloton. Lots of Kopecki, a Belgian rider, twice second in the National Road Race Championships, also a member of the Lotto Sudal team, is going on the move now. Behind her is Elise Delzen. This is on board with the leader, and Elise Delzen as she swings up and gets into this quartet at the front. Result of sprint number four, Osrin Trebita wins with five points, Georgia Baker three, Lotta Kopecki two, and Ganna Solove with one point. Kopecki just trying to stretch the race out a little bit then. He's trying to hurt the legs of the rest of the riders. Confirmation of the standings after four sprints, Trebita leads with eight, Pavlovska with six, Mashakova five, Badiakova with uh, five uh, points. An attack at the front now by three riders who are just trying to stretch this. We're coming up now to the midway point then, Amy. If you've not scored any points so far in the race, are you worried or are you thinking, right, I'm just going to save myself a little bit? try now to go on the attack take a lap and score points what's what would go through your mind as a former world champion i think at this point if you haven't scored any points on the board uh, if you're struggling a bit with the sprinting side of it i think it's a you really need to sit back and think okay where is the best best part of the race to attack and make my move and i think that's when you really need to be smart about um you know when the peloton eases up and goes a bit slower then you really need to hit and try and get a lap you have to really and to get a lap you've got to be attacking at well over 30 uh, 50 k's an hour yeah yeah you've got to be going much faster than the bunch that's for sure um to do an attack but it's also to do it smart so you use the least energy that little attack at the front has been nullified and Stephanie Pohl is near the front. When you launch an attack on this track, um, is it that you use the banking to try and accelerate? What's the best way to attack to get the maximum advantage? Yeah, I think it's using the bank but also um, catching people off guard as well. So when you pass them, you're going at a much faster pace than they are because when you're catching them off off guard and you pass someone, uh, you know, if someone passed me going that fast, I think far out and they're going to be too fast, I'll let someone else chase it down. So I think um, everyone gets that mindset, so that's when you really got to catch someone off guard to make the biggest impact. Here we go with the next sprint, and it is the British rider Emily Nelson who is going to win the points that time. Elena Cicchini in second. So Cicchini starts to pick up a few points here. Emily Nelson, one of the members of the British Team Pursuit squad, 
She didn't ride the team pursuit. She was there as the uh, other rider. Result of sprint number five, Emily Nelson with five, Cicchini with three, Stephanie Pohl, the defending champion with two, and Elise Delzen with one point. This race is splitting up a little bit at the front. Here's the standing. Sosreen Trebita, who's in trouble at the back of the race, eight points. Emily Nelson with six. Pavlowska equal on points with six. And Mashakova with five points. Trebita then, I think she's been lapped. She put in a massive effort and now has lost a lap on the rest of the field. So Trebita has lost uh, 20 points for losing a lap. She disappears out of the standings overall, and now Elise Delzen goes on the attack. 47 laps of racing remaining, and it's still anybody's race. Nelson and Pavlowska are the leaders of uh, this points race. There's confirmation then the standings have changed. Standings after sprint five, Emily Nelson and Pavlowska tied on points with six, and Mashakova in third place as Pavlowska tries to go on the attack with Cicchini and also Elise Del Zen. What's the feeling then, Amy, in the uh, Australian camp after four days of racing? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's a great feeling, you know, we're, we're all here, we're such a tight-knit group, we're uh, supporting every everyone through the ups and downs, um, and I think, you know, it's great, we've, we've uh, already got some uh, good results on the board, and uh, I think it's great, you know, we all bounce off each other, and we're there to support each other, and it's been a really good, uh, good feeling in the Australian camp. And Georgia Baker, tell us a little bit about her, what's her background, what's her strengths? Um, George is a very, very strong, um, very strong girl. She's uh, definitely, uh, she's got a good kick on her as well. Uh, she's got quite a few um, ro road results in the NRS in, a, in Australia this year. And she's had a bit of a, I guess, unfortunate year with the passing of her father, which has um, been obviously very hard for her. But Georgia is a very close friend of mine. We come from, from the same state uh, of Tassie. And, She's from a little little town called Perth, and uh, she really gives it everything. She's one person. If you go on a war, you want her by her side. That's a good description of a teammate. If you're going into war, you want her right by your side. Yeah. There is uh, Elise Delzen in the camera. Gana Solove, this is on the board with her as we head round to 40 laps of racing to go. This is starting to get interesting. Pavlowska is getting involved in all the action. Sierra going round the outside. Jasmine Glazer, the Canadian, also there. Emily Nelson trying to get involved in the points, which she does. And that was an intelligent ride by uh, Emily Nelson. But I think Sierra took the points, and that would mean that she's going to make her way up towards the top of the standings. So it was Sierra followed by Glazer, followed by Pavlowska, and in fourth place, Emily Nelson of Great Britain. This Cuban rider is riding well. Sprint six, Elena Sierra takes five, Glazer takes three, Pavlowska with two, Nelson with one point. An attack now from Hong Kong, China. And this is uh, Pang Yao, who is going on the move now. Mashakova is going with her. The standings after sprint number six. Sierra leads with ten points, Pavlowska with eight, Nelson with seven, Mashakova with uh, five points. And it's Pang Yao of Hong Kong, China, is on the attack. And uh, right in the camera is uh, Georgia Baker trying to make her move now to get across uh, to the leaders. The Georgia Baker then concentrating hard. When you are riding like this, then Amy, you don't want to be right in the red zone the whole time, do you? You've got to just try and measure your effort to get across. No, that's right. You've obviously got to feel like, you know, go off the judgment of how your leg's feeling. Do I think I can make this or um, am I best just to sit up and rest in and try and have another crack later on in the race? And I, I think that's what Georgia's Georgia's decided to go and is sit back and try and find a, a better time to make her attack. Peloton then all swinging up the track, and this is playing into the hands of uh, Pang Yao of Hong Kong, China, who is going clear. And Yasmin Glazer, I think, has decided that she really doesn't want this one to go away. She doesn't want a nation uh, just sneaking away. 
for taking a lap, Yasmin Glazer. Very, very strong indeed. Bronze medalist in 2014, silver medalist in 2012. You've had a few tussles with Yasmin Glazer, haven't you? Yeah, I think the last few points races I've done, it's always come down to us two um, in the final sprint. So she's a, she's a very good rider, very classy rider out there. And Glazer now closes that gap up. And behind her is Sierra, who's riding a fantastic race so far. Sierra's not a rider we would have noted down as the possible winner of this points race, but what's your analysis of her performance so far in this, this race as we head in towards the 30 laps to go? Yeah, she's rode a really smart race. She's always put herself in the front and um, she hasn't got too far back and I think that really helps But when it comes down to a sprint. Uh, she doesn't need to pass anyone, she's, all, she's already there, so it's, it's less energy using and I think uh, that's been a very smart move by her. 31 laps to go. This is the next sprint, so this is important for Alaska bouncing off. The Asmin Glazer sneaking her way through there. You don't really mess with Captain Zina Pavlowska. And on the wheel immediately looking for the points. Pavlowska just worked her way through that field very well indeed. It was the Belarusian Savenko who was on the wheel of her. Glazer was there, Cicchini, Emily Nelson and Sierra out of the points. But now we get the big attack. Sprint number seven, Pavlowska takes five, Savenka takes three, Glazer takes two and Cicchini takes one point. This race is still anybody's. Big attack from the defending champion, Stephanie Pohl, who's gambling everything. Katarzyna Pawlowska leads this points race with 13 points. Sierra with 10, Nelson with 7, Glazer with 7. Georgia Baker towards the front of the peloton now. 28 laps to go, Stephanie Pohl is chancing her arm now to try and go away, but she doesn't really have any other... Uh, possibility here does she Amy? Yeah she's uh, slipped down to 10th position now but as you can see there's there's not much between her and uh, the say position third and the top and it's still you know if she gains a lap she's uh, on the top of the leaderboard so she knows what she has to do and she's definitely giving it all she knows she's only got uh, 26 laps to go so she's uh, looking to make her move now. There's a group of riders going clear. One of them is Delzen of France. She's on the front. Uh, also in here is Pole, the Japanese rider who was the silver medalist last year as a Wano. So a very dangerous group going away at the front. Georgia Baker also involved in here for uh, Australia. And Usibiaga is the Spanish rider. Five dangerous riders on the attack, 25 laps to go and they will now work hard to try and build their advantage. When you're in the front group like this, we see them changing all the time. Is there an understanding of doing a half a lap each, or does it just come down to how much you can keep the pace up? I think it comes down to, yeah, how much you can keep the pace up and tactic, tactics too. Um, you know, you've got George Baker and Paul in there who um, will be looking to wanting to drive it because they know if they get a lap, they're going to go to the top of the leaderboard. Um, but you've got a few of the other riders that just look and just think, you know, it's not up to me to make the race. I'm, I'm further back, and it, uh, I think that's when, um, yeah, that it's, uh, it's a lot up to, yeah, Georgia and uh, Paul. Georgia and Paul now going on the attack. They've stretched it yet again. It is a Wano of Japan. 22 laps of racing, for 21 laps to go. The next sprint of the night is coming up. The fans are going pretty mad because the British riders involved in the mix yet again. In front is Iwano, behind her is Baker, behind her is Cole. Emily Nelson trying to get another point to go back to the top of the leaderboard. She manages to score one, but that time it was the Australian rider, I think, who took it. Georgia Baker, a fantastic sprint. Paul Uwano and Emily Nelson, who's closing up on the top three places. Paul trying to go away yet again. Sprint number eight, Georgia Baker with five points, Stephanie Paul with three, Uwano with two, and Emily Nelson with one point. 
Anderson now makes her move with Stephanie Poe. A big crowd cheering these uh, riders on. And here's the standings after sprint number eight. Kowalowska with 13. Baker now in second place with 10. Sierra 10 and Nelson with eight. It's looking good at the moment for Georgia Baker. Did you give her any uh, insights before this race? Yeah, well, we're rooming together, so uh, no, you know, I, I gave her a few tips, but uh, you know, Georgia's an incredible race there. She she always races in the same way. She's very uh, smart and intelligent in the way she races, and I think that's definitely playing in, in her advantage. What did you give her? What was your last little tip to her? I think, um, yeah, just to enjoy the moment and you know, really try and get those early points on the board and um, I guess look at look look at the others when they're hurting and uh, you know when they're hurt when you're hurting they're hurting just as much <laughs> that's a good tip 15 laps to go our well, thanks to Amy Cure for being here uh, the former world points race uh, champion it's good to have her alongside us we can get a little bit of uh, insight lots of Kopecky on board camera thank you Fourteen laps to go. Our thanks to Amy Cure for being with us uh, to give us her insight, a former points race world champion. We're now down to the last 13 and laps of this race. It's still anybody's. Caroline Ryan now on the front for Ireland. Uh, Ryan has scored no points so far, so she needs a lap on the rest of the field. Machikova swings up. This race right now is between Pavlovsko of Poland, Baker of Australia, Sierra of Cuba. Nelson of Great Britain, Nelson not at the front of the race right now. Glazer is dangerous as far as the overall standing is concerned. So Sierra, Pavlowska and Cole who are all up there at the front. Cole is a defending champion. Jasmine Glazer giving this some gas as she goes now to the line. Glazer takes it, Sierra second, Pavlowska third. That's going to move Jasmine Glazer possibly up into a medal. Sprint number nine of ten. Jasmine Glazer takes five points. Sierra takes three. Pavlowska takes two. And Stephanie Pohl, still scoring, takes one point. Here's the overall standings. Only one sprint remains. Pavlowska is the leader with 15 points. Sierra with 13. Glazer with 12. Baker with 10. Only one sprint left. So this race is really between Pavlowska, Sierra, Glazer and Baker for the gold medal. the attack on the front from the United States of America. Is it too late? Oh, there's a crash. I think there might have been a... Uh, puncture or something in the, in the crowd, in the uh, peloton. And it is Kimberly Geist with an attack. Cicchini is going with it. It wasn't a crush, it was a massive bang in this, uh, in this uh, arena then. Kimberly Geist going clear, five laps to go. Cicchini isn't able to go with this. Is Kimberly Geist going to run out of time here? Or is she going to take a lap before the finish line? Pavlowska with 15, Sierra with 13, Glazer with 12. We're coming down now to the last four laps of racing to go. Three laps of racing to go and the American is still there. She's going clear. Can she take the lap? If she does, she would win this points race. 
Kimberly Geist. Oh, four bigger, big, big crash in the peloton. A load of riders have hit the deck. Caroline Ryan, Del Sen, and uh, the Japanese rider, Iwano. And now the American rider still clear. Kimberly Geist here. Kimberly Geist is still leading with one lap to go. She's not going to manage to take the point. So it's going to come down to the sprint between Glazer and also the sprint between Mashakova and Georgia Baker. They're going now for the line. Here we go then, Kimberly Geist. It's all going to be about the sprint behind though. And we'll find out who takes this world title. It is Kimberly Geist who crosses the line. But who's going to take the point? Georgia Baker takes three points. That puts her on 13. That will put her in the medals. Pavlowska, I think, is going to be the world champion. She has 15 points. Kimberly Geist takes five. Baker takes three. Glazer takes two. The world champion is Katarzyna Pavlowska, who rides for Lizzie Armistead's Bold Donalds team. The Polish rider, the former world scratch race champion, is the world champion of the points race. What a fantastic ride by Katarzyna Pawlowska. This was the uh, crash, I think. Oh, the Japanese rider touched the wheel. Oh, a very, very bad crash. Went straight over the handlebars. Caroline Ryan and Del Zen. This is Zoano. This is on board. Look at that touch of wheel straight over the handlebars. Del Zen, she takes out Caroline Ryan. She takes out Del Zen. Pawlowska was so lucky. That's her, the winner of the actual championship. Pawlowska was almost taken out as well. All smiles from Kasia Pawlowska. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> points race by Pawlowska. She's so clever when she rides these bunch races. Stunning win. <laughs> Let's just take another look at this. Pavlowska was so close to that crash. And Pavlowska just making her way round the outside. She was staying out of any trouble. She was on the wheel of the Cuban rider. Lucibiaga on the inside. The sprint started to open up after she avoided that crash. Georgia Baker looking to try and get uh, into the medals. Pavlowska takes the victory. The Glazer will be the silk medal. Sierra will take the bronze. Georgia Baker and Emily Nelson will be in the fourth and fifth places. <laughs> the result of the women's points race. Katarzyna Pawlowska takes 15 points to take the rainbow bands. Jasmine Glazer takes the silver and the bronze. Elena Sierra of Cuba. Here is the rundown of the top 14. Badiakova, Mashakova, Chikini takes 11th place.